I'm often drawn to very generic materials as a starting point for my work. I think because they have uh, a very easy entry point, things feel immediately identifiable in some way. Um, there's a material resonance, I think, that um, people feel, that, that they understand what it is. And, um, and in a way, that easy entry then, I feel, opens up the possibility of um, metaphors kind of uh, expanding out from them. The first time I started using um, the materials that are in this exhibition, the, the, the pieces that look like figures, I call these forms slumps because they're sort of these figurative forms that depend on um, a hard structure of some kind to support them, an armature. And they're a way of thinking about the relation between the body and um, and the support systems that hold up the body as a kind of codependent co relationship. Um, and I was particularly interested in foam as the kind of base material for these slumps because it is a material that's used, it's a sort of cheap bed material. The other material in this exhibition, of course, is are the emergency blankets. Um, they are, of course, materials that are used to keep people warm. Um, it's, it has a kind of protective element to it. Um, but when stretched, it also turns into a kind of two-way mirror. Um, I'm interested in that and how, as people walk in front of and behind this vertical plane, um, they are hidden and revealed um, from each other they are reflected again into the space and sometimes into each other because it's a, it's a two-way mirror. And it also presents the sculpture through reflection um, in this rounded form. So there are yeah, a variety of formal and conceptual reasons that are always working together in my material choices. And I'm always thinking about these different um, sort of layers of the space vertically um, in, and in this exhibition, there are hanging um, water bottles that are sort of at mid-level, they're kind of at eye level. Um, there are these, uh, I, I think of them as um, extensions of the body, they're water bottles, so they are used to carry water, which you drink, to, um, to kind of re replenish your own water, but I've also been interested in how day laborers and people who, again, are don't have space, don't have a bathroom to go to, often will use that same bottle to um, urinate. And, and so it becomes this receptacle for bodily fluids as well. And, um, and so in a way, it's a, and it's a size of a head, and it hangs at head height. So I think of them as, again, bodily at the, at the height of a person standing. Um, and then finally, these exit signs are pieces that are quite high up on the wall and force people to look up. Um, they're also hung in a way where from any given point you can at best see one side of an exit sign and so you have to move through the space to see the two words on any given sign and so the movement of the viewer is an important part of the piece. Things are hidden and revealed as you walk through the space. In this current show and in previous shows I've used text in different ways. Here it's through these what I think of as two-word poems in a way, these exit signs that um, I think help people um, contextualize the work, um, gives people anchors through which to enter the work rather than um, provide a kind of descriptive uh, entry point. So. Um, for example, let's see, Grave Grove, the title of the exhibition, um, which is also an exit sign in, in, the, in the exhibition, um, was a way of thinking about this moment that we're living through um, the pandemic um, as a moment that is, of course, one that reminds us of our mortality, we're confronted constantly with death, but last spring, um, there was this moment when 
the sort of the seasons changed in New York and uh, plants started to kind of grow out of the sidewalk cracks and there was something quite beautiful about this rebirth um, within a city, um, a rebirth not so much of the people but of this other life form, um, these plants, and particularly plants that are not considered valuable to humans, that are considered weeds, but that um, irrespective of our desire to have them around, they, they thrive and they come back every year.